Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's devotional. Uh, today we're looking at Proverbs 21, verses 27 through 29. It says, The sacrifice of the wicked is detestable, how much more so when brought with evil intent. A false witness will perish, but a careful listener will testify successfully. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright give thought to their ways. Have you ever caught a child in a lie? It's an interesting experience. The lie could be pretty out in the open and obvious, yet you might hear the most amazing denial from that child. I've witnessed with my own daughters where they'll, they'll get in tears. Uh, they've had literal tantrums while trying to convince me that they didn't do what was plainly obvious that they in fact did. It's pretty basic human instinct to dig our heels in like that. Verse 29 uh, uh, talks about how the wicked put up a bold front. Think of how your insecurities cause you to try and convince others, really to convince yourself sometimes, that you are on top of things, that you're doing things right. Sometimes we come, we become almost bold uh, when we are actually the least confident of ourselves. Why is it so hard for us to admit that we don't know everything? Why is it so hard for us to admit that when we've made a grievous mistake or when we've sinned against another person or when we've sinned against God? I don't think that we're being told to become weak little people who never stand strong in any moment, but we are being told that the upright give thought to their ways. Verse 29, the second part of it. Uh, the upright aren't in need of putting on a fake bold face because they've thought through things ahead of time and they can be truly confident that they've made the right decisions. Now, Genesis 4, you got Cain and Abel, uh, and Cain did not give much thought to his ways. While Abel brought a favorable offering to God, Cain didn't. And Cain's sacrifice was considered detestable. Talks about that in verse 27 here in Proverbs. And in anger, he chose then to kill his brother Abel. And then Cain put up this insanely bold front. Genesis 4, 9 says, Then the Lord said to Cain, Where's your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? How crazy was Cain to think that he could lie so boldly to God who sees everything that's been done. But that's what happens when we act in haste without giving thought to what we do. We make mistakes, our pride kicks in, and then we have to cover up. So hear this today, you don't have to cover over your sins. Jesus died for every foolish thing that you've ever done and that you ever will do. Don't dig a hole that you can't climb out of. In the face of your mistakes, let humility take over. That's part of the victory that comes with grace. Uh, let's pray together. Lord, uh, I thank you that there's no reason for me to, uh, to hold on to my sin. There's no reason for me to cover up my sin. I thank you, Lord, that Jesus went to the cross to die for that sin. And so, God, I pray that today in the midst of those moments where, where we, want, we have the temptation to cover things up or, or to act like things aren't wrong, that we haven't done wrong, God, give us humility. Uh, to be upfront about it uh, and, and really to ask for forgiveness, to seek forgiveness and to seek reconciliation. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.